guys, Fantastic Dolls here, and today I'm going to show you how to make an Easter basket for your American Girl dolls. Um, this is my fourth time trying to make this video. I've had countless, or not countless, but anyway. So, let's get on to the materials. Today is Easter, and I thought that I would make a tutorial because this is my first craft tutorial. And, you know what? Hey, not. Hey, why not? Why not? Anyway, so, the materials are, is this basket. Uh, it does not have to have a handle, but I just have one with a handle. This one's from the Cottontail um, uh, collection from Joanne's stores. So, I guess you can't really make this for Easter. I guess you could plan ahead for next Easter, or you can make like a late Easter. Um, the next material you need are scissors. I have some amazing Santa Claus scissors. These scissors are really nice, actually. Um... Next thing you're going to need is tissue paper. Or, if you don't want to use tissue paper, um, this is optional. Like, you can use both. Is you know, like, that stuff that's, like, really annoying. It's, like, nylon, and it's kind of, like, plastic. And it's, like, holding, it's always holding, like, the can the um, eggs. I, I hate that stuff. But, I mean, like, if you want to be more Easter-y, you can use that. Or you can use, like, Easter-themed um, tissue paper that says Happy Easter on it. Anyway. Next thing you're going to need is some chocolate to put in it. So, um, I was kind of worried that I wouldn't have chocolate for this, and then I realized, oh yeah, I got chocolate as sort of a gift the other day from my mom's friend. And so, um, use like these, like, oops, these like traditional like chocolate eggs that you get. Um, I don't have any, like, fake candy for my dolls like that. Um, and normally you would use, like, if you could get your hands on this, like, a mini chocolate bunny. But I'm using a chocolate carrot instead because I don't got one. <coughs> Excuse me. And, um, if you have any other small candies you want to add into it, um, my basket's actually fairly small. It's only a three inch one. So depending on how big your basket is, um, that really depends on how much chocolate or candy you can actually put in it. Anyway, um, uh, or you can totally like peeps. I had this idea like what you could do is you could just like take craft, like yellow craft foam and like draw the shape of the peep that you want. And, um, and then just like cut it out and then like do multiple of those and then just like draw on the face or whatever and then you got like a doll peep. I might actually do that and then show you guys how it um, turned out. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your basket. Mine still has my tag on it. So you're just going to cut your tag off and throw it away. Um, but I'm not going to just because of the sake of the video. So you have your basket. Since mine is a three inch basket, um, that doesn't really have to do with anything. Um, you're going to take your tissue paper out. Mine is folded, so you're going to cut your tissue paper. Um, I guess what you could do, like, to be kind of creative is, like, if you know, like, the diameter of your basket, since mine, this is a three inch, oh my god, I think three inches would be larger, um, like cut a square that big but um so I guess you can use a ruler if you really want this thing to be perfect but I am just gonna estimate I wanna get like one happy Easter on here or three yeah that'll be good and you're just gonna cut this out And since I have three tissue paper, you're gonna, I'm going to basically um, take the Happy Easter one and just size it up with the white one and do the same with the pink. Um, you know, actually, I'm only going to do the white. I think the pink might make it look a little busy and a little messy because I'll have, like, three colors or three tissue papers going on. And I'm kind of cutting the white one 
I know that wasn't safe cutting towards myself, but, you know, oh well. So I'm, oops, and if you kind of like me, just even out your edges and stuff. Mine's not very even, but oh well. So then what you're going to do is, I think this will look nice. You don't have to do this, but you're going to take one and, <coughs> excuse me. You're going to take your white tissue paper, and you're going to keep it like this. And then you're going to take your, I'm putting this one on my bottom, so you decide which one you want on your bottom and which one on your top. Um, because your top ones you're going to see the most, I believe. <laughs> I haven't done this before, I'm sorry, but. And then you're just going to line it up like this. So, this one's going to be straight, and then this one's going to be at an angle, like that. And then this is where the basket comes in. So, sorry if this is getting kind of long. This is a craft tutorial. So you're going to take this and you're going to put this in. And you're going to push it down to the bottom. But you don't want to be super rough because um, you don't want it to rip. So then you're just going to put like push the sides in a bit if you need to. And push these down. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take your delicious chocolate. I'm not a big chocolate fan, but you know what? Who cares? <coughs> Excuse me. I have a really dry throat. And then you're just basically going to put your candy in there. Voila. Um, my chocolate carrot's quite large, actually. I didn't realize that. I guess, like, you know, I think what I'm going to do is... So, say you have these... um. Lind. I can't really. It's like L I N D T. Oh, it has hazelnuts in it. <laughs> Never knew that. Um, I'm cutting this off. So say you have these, and you had the same baskets as me. That's kind of creepy, but who cares? There you go. I just cut off my chocolate carrot handle, and that really hurt my knee. And then you're just gonna sort of like. Do that again and put the carrot inside and then I'll put blue chocolate in there and voila you have your your um Easter your doll Easter basket and I will show it to a size like sized up to a doll sorry I just like banged her head on the the uh, thing on my dollhouse so here's Emily she was pinning eggs sorry and so this is the Easter basket compared. So here's the shot and so here's Emily. And here's my Easter basket completed. Sorry if this is really shaky. But um I think it's really cute. I'm definitely making some more like this. And I might even consider, like, making some fake chocolate carrots, because that is really adorable. Um, I only have three, but I have four baskets. So, sorry. Thumbs this video up if you want me to continue doing craft tutorials, and comment down below, down, 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 uh, if you have any other craft suggestions for me. Um, I know I'm doing the canvas tutorial. Nobody suggested it, but I thought it was really cute. I came up with it. I did not take it from somebody else, and neither did this. I actually haven't watched a single video on how to make it all Easter basket, but I think this is adorable, and I guess one other thing that you could do is, like, if you wanted, like, a personalized one is, um, like, add, like, the chocolates, like, the wrapper, make them, like, your doll's favorite color, like, only put in your doll's favorite color, or you could put, like, a name tag on it. I'm not putting a name tag on mine because um, I haven't really decided what I'm going to do for each of them. And because um, I'm making two for Twinkling Dolly Stars. And sorry, this is really long. but um, And Sage is allergic to chocolate, so I have to figure out what to do for her. Whoopee. <laughs> um, and so... I hope you found this tutorial really fun, and comment down below, comment, rate, and subscribe. Don't forget, thumbs this video up if you want to um, 
see more videos of this, comment down below if, well, like this video if you want more tutorials. And if you did, comment down below what tutorials you want and subscribe for awesome videos. She looks weird like that. Bye!